What the heck is happening in Dollywood? Let's take a look at the tweets, the evidence, everything we know, and come to an educated guess on what's going to be happening. If you're just here for the tweets and not the predictions, here's a three minute sum up. So the first thing that happened was on July 26th at 1 o'clock p.m. We got a tweet from Marcus Lashock saying, Just in, Dollywood will announce their new 2023 attraction on August 5th at 11 a.m. The park says it is the single largest attraction investment in the history of Dollywood which I kind of thought nothing of for a few days. I didn't recognize Marcus, but after looking into him, he's verified and is a news reporter. So this is a reliable source, um, but we still didn't really get anything on this until a few days later on July 30th, when Dollywood started to give us some teases. Um, on July 30th, they tweeted out a couple pictures of news articles. You can see those on screen now, um, but they're clearly fake news articles that they've put together for promotion for this. Um, and they're just saying that there have been some interesting going-ons in Wildwood Grove recently, which is an area of the park if you didn't know. Uh, with all the noise, some folks are wondering if the old legends of Grove could actually be true. Uh, maybe the tales of Big Bear aren't too tall after all, is what it's saying. Um, so that was the first thing we got from them. Um, and basically every day since then we've had a new update. Um, so on July 31st, we got an update saying Dollywood officials teamed up with famed botanist and explorer Ned Oakley in an attempt to get down to the root of exactly what's going on inside Wildwood Grove. If you have any information, call Ned out here at this number. Um, this promotional video actually introduces the character of Ned Oakley, um, and if you dial the number listed in this tweet, it takes you to a... Uh, fictional hotline set up by Ned for information regarding Big Bear, any sightings, and that kind of thing. So if we go up to August 1st, um, there's just some more information that Big Bear is a black bear. As for estimated size, that's a bit harder to believe. If you look at these pictures, they're clearly implying something big. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then the following day, Big Bear sightings have poured in, and now we have our first photo evidence. Big Bear is just outside of Wildwood Grove. Ned captured these images. Um, more pictures of the bear, the shadow of the bear, the bear paw. And then today, we're getting closer to Big Bear and our recent Wild Grove Wildwood Grove adventures. Ned and the Dollywood team captured what they believe to be the first ever recording of Big Bear early this morning at the work site for the future Smoky Mountain Adventure Outpost and there is a five second clip of a bear. So that pretty much sums up the concrete things. Um, I'm going to get into the prediction section in just a second here. Um, but if you were only looking for an explanation of the tweets, you can hop on out now. Have a great day. So using the evidence we have in these tweets or these promotions in the tweets, I actually have a what I believe to be a pretty good prediction of what's going to be going down at Dollywood. Um, so before we get into that, I want to start with the news report tweet that we had at the start, which said that it is going to be the single greatest investment in an, an attraction that Dollywood has ever done. So looking at that, there's pretty much three things that make a coaster, because um, we're pretty sure this is a coaster, there's three things that make a coaster expensive. Record breaking slash heights or intense speeds. You have theming and you have terrain. Those are pretty much the three things that will make a coaster expensive. I mean, manufacturer also plays a part in it, but those are the three big things that you would really be looking for. And actually, if you look at all these tweets and kind of put them in perspective, um, once you know what my idea is, it kind of all makes sense that those three things would be the three things that they're actually pushing for. So my big prediction is, drumroll please, a B&M Giga at Dollywood. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. So, first of all, Dollywood is in the Smoky Mountains. It would be absolutely gorgeous to have a B&M terrain coaster ripping up and over the mountains. Um, if you look at this map of Dollywood, you can see that there's a ton of open land, that it's just a forest and some mountains right now. Um, however, it is between... The post mentioned in the tweets, the section of the park, Wildwood Grove, and where the train reaches over to, which is just a cleared circle at the moment. Um, so if the station was at Wildwood Grove and it was kind of an out and back relative layout, I could see it going up and over the mountains, um, kind of hugging the terrain, you know, being, being a general terrain coaster and all that sort of thing. Of course, we also have the theming. It was told to us early on that this was going to be bear themed and if you look at all the tweets they've made it 
very clear that this bear is loud and big and scary and they're definitely selling this as a um a monster type attraction and i don't really think i mean they already have lightning rod at dollywood so they already have their their standout monster machine besides like all you could really do is a hyper or a giga and i don't see them going for just a hyper and marketing it in this kind of way basically bnm giga coming to dollywood you heard it here first if you enjoyed this prediction i know it was pretty quick i'm gonna have a sister video coming out tomorrow predicting every cedar fair edition that is going to be happening this season um those announcements come out august 11th which we heard today as well um, so I am going to be predicting everything coming to every Cedar Fair Park. So if you would stick around for that tomorrow, that'd be great. If I don't see you again, I'm Josh from Station Wait, Have a great day.